I'm happy with like if I get a booking, I'm I'm happy with it. If I don't get a book, booking, I've got a lot of other shit going on in my life to where I'm not I'm not upset with it. I'd rather sit home and play with my fucking daughter than go work for fucking peanuts. Yeah. And be and just be used and abused, you know what I mean? And like and I felt like that happened with me a lot in my like my you know beginning little run here was I I was used and abused a lot, you know what I mean? I was used for the name i was used for the clout i was used to get the eyes and all that good shit and then uh once all that shit happened i was just cast off to the side of i'm of no use anymore over minuscule shit like the smallest of the small shit you know what i mean like are you saying that that was death match down under they just sort of like brought you in used you for your name and then like removed you from the promotion yeah i honestly feel that way and and i'm not the only one i mean i've got you know i still talk to quite a few people out here and they all feel the same way about it too they're like man it, it really comes off that way and that's like my fans over there in the states and <clears throat> even promoters out there that i still talk to they feel the same way too they're like it really seems like you were just used and abused and yeah you've got a mouth but dude you built your whole fucking career off that yeah and you know so what what's the problem but yeah, that, like I, I really feel that way, and um, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not shy to admit it either. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it is. What, I know I got fired because of my mouth. You know, and I accept that. You know, I, I accept that it's my doing, but at the same time, it was the wrong way to go about doing it. Mm. What and was I, the What was the conversation like with them when they did sort of say, "Hey, we're cutting ties with you"? There was no conversation. It was an email. <laughs> there was no conversation at all they all have my phone number they could have yeah. called me i mean they they kind of like uh i was getting messages for you know pretty much the whole time that i from the time i started there until the time i got f fired um i was getting messages saying hey man you need to calm down on your social medias or at least put it on uh put your stuff on private so only your friends can see it because you know, people are thinking that you're shooting on us and talking shit on us. And it's like, well, that's, I can't control that. That's not a me problem. You know, that's a them problem. If they think that I'm talking, that that's that's on them. You know, and was, if you guys think that I am, like, that's on you. Like, Was there anyone there specifically that you feel was, like, maybe had it, not had it in for you, but was, like, taking more offense to it than others? Or Yeah, yeah. And I, I don't think that... uh he's with them anymore because he's kind of been had a little controversy around him as of late either as well. But, uh, yeah, I, I think that there was one particular referee that just didn't like my mouth, so to speak. You know what I mean? He didn't like me mouthing off. And, um, yeah, cause I mean, Joel was always really cool with me, you know, and he always tried to work with me and, you know, we would talk fairly regularly, but yeah, I feel like, I was singled out by one person just because of my mouth. But like I said, I'm not going to change for anybody, you know? Yeah. Do you feel like, because now that person's like left that promotion, like do you feel like you can go back to deathmatch down under? Um, I've talked. I mean, probably after this, I probably won't, but, <laughs> but like, um, cause I've reached out like even after, like after I got fired and I like, I let everything calm down for a little while. And to the three people that were pretty much offended by what I was saying and stuff, I reached out in a big group message and apologized, you know, like, Hey man, I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry if you got offended. I'll, I'll, you know, I can scale back on my shit talking and, you know, even after uh, that ICW show as recent as what was that October, middle of yeah, October. October. And um, yeah, like there, Oh, well, you know, everything's squash, you know, it's life's too short to hold grudges and, you know, we'll get in contact and we'll probably use you again, blah, 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 nothing, you know, my, my inbox stays dry and then just about everybody on that roster is, re you know, pretty recently, you know, deleted me off of socials and stuff. So, I mean, that, that tells me a lot, you know what I mean? Mm. It's like, you know, don't, don't feed the, don't feed me bullshit. Just, just be straight up that way. I don't. I'm not sitting around waiting for a fucking message or a phone call and I'm not going to, 
keep reaching out. You know, I've been doing this shit for way too long mm. and I'm not, you know, I'm not that thirsty for a fucking booking. Yeah. So I'm not going to keep reaching out. It's like, if you want to use me, cool. If you don't, cool. But don't, don't feed me bullshit. Mm. And Do I you, think that's, would you go back there if the opportunity came up? It, well, yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent, I would. I mean, because I know uh, just from being at that last ICW show, and all, like a lot of those fans coming up to me afterwards, man, we miss seeing you. You know, the death match down under really needs you back in. Blah blah blah. You know, we love seeing you out here. So yeah, hundred percent, and I do it for the fans. 